Hello, my Geminis, and welcome to your July Love Tarot Reading with me, Miss Machiste. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe. I will be posting weekend love readings, daily love readings, and there will be a mid-month July love reading as well. So don't miss out on any of that. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And let's get into it for my Geminis. So Gemini, keep in mind that you can check out your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign because this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. And also Gemini, just keep in mind that the energies can go vice versa. So if this is not you, this could be the person you are dealing with. And also for my cross watchers as well, welcome to. So for Gemini, let's get into it for my, oh, Geminis for the first half of July spirit for Geminis in their love lives. What do we have here for my Gemini spirit in their love lives? Thank you. Okay, Gemini. So your first card out here is we have the throat chakra card number five communication coming in some sort of conversation happening here. We also have control. This is strength Leo energy. And we also have observe. This is the hanged man, which is Pisces energy. So Gemini, I do feel as though either you're feeling stuck on reaching out to somebody or somebody is feeling stuck on reaching out to you. I do feel like somebody is holding back their energy from you or you towards them. And it's possibly causing a lot of stagnancy, a lot of stuck feeling here with with the hanged man with observe here. The hanged man goes upside down to observe his pers her his his or her life from a new perspective. So I feel as though there is something happening here where Gemini, either you are looking at your love life from whole, a whole new um, pair of eyes, or the person that you're dealing with is looking at you with a whole new pair of eyes. And I feel as though there is a sense here where there is a conversation or somebody wants to talk to somebody. So Gemini, either you want to talk to them or they want to talk to you, but there is a sense here that somebody is stuck on how to come towards somebody here. So let's get a Romance Angels card out here for you, Gemini, and see what's going on here with the Romance Angels Oracle for my Gemini's spirit, and then we'll get into some tarot. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So, Gemini, your Romance Angels card is we have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Gemini, yeah, like either you are wanting to come towards somebody or somebody else is wanting to come towards you and just possibly just say what's on their mind, express their love here, especially with that throat chakra. I felt that right from the start when that came out and I just feel like whomever this is, they just don't know how to come towards you, Gemini, or you are not really understanding how to come towards them or for my people who are in a partnership already there is a need for you both to open up more emotionally and to do it through speaking wise you know because some people will say like you know like I want to hear the affection I just don't want to see it you know, other people have other love languages where they'd rather see it than hear it. Some people need to have both, you know. So, Gemini, there is a really strong need here for someone to express how they truly feel. And they've been holding back and they are, they are stuck right now. They are stuck, but they want to come towards you, Gemini. So, let's get some tarot on this. Spirit for my Geminis for the first half of July in their love lives for my Geminis in the first half of July in love. You know, possibly Gemini, um, for my people who are in partnerships, somebody may want to say I love you and maybe they're holding themselves back trying to observe the situation and observe you and make sure that they're not going to, you know, possibly make a fool out of themselves or 
that maybe you won't reciprocate it back, Gemini. So let's see what we have here. We have the Five of Cups. Can you see that in the frame? Yes, okay. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Hanged Man again. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the World. Yeah, Gemini, this is extremely specific here. We have the Five of Cups, which is showing me that you or this person you're dealing with is feeling a bit disappointed. But the disappointment is coming from the expectations that you or they are having of this partnership. I do feel as though there is a sense where I'm really getting something where someone wants to say something that I'm getting a sense it could be and I love you or like I want to be with you or I want to make this work or something along those lines. And whomever this is, if this is not you, Gemini, this is your person and they are stuck on how to approach you this way. They don't know how you are going to respond. They think you're just going to disappoint them. They are not really paying attention that there may be some hope in this partnership. There may be some hope in the emotional side of this as well, that possibly Gemini, you feel the same or this person feels the same towards you. But we have the four of wands here as well, which is showing me a celebration, but it's also showing me a partnership as well. So with the Four of Wands, this is a happy celebration, getting together, having a good time, coming together with somebody, um, even marriage, because that ceremony that you have when you're getting married. I do feel like this person, somebody wants to be with you, Gemini. This person, they want to be with you. And it's kind of like they don't know how to say that. They have no idea how to say it. Because once again, we have the hanged man, and it's the feeling of feeling stuck. The feeling of feeling, I don't know what to do. I need to observe this partnership from a new set of eyes. Because possibly, Gemini, either you or your person is not really feeling 110% confident that you feel the same way. And Gemini, this could be a friend too that like wants to express how they truly feel towards you and is so stuck on how to go about this. But someone wants to express their true feelings. And we have the Knight of Swords, which is showing me that this person wants to express their feelings and they want to, they are wanting to come in fast. They are wanting to come in quickly. I feel as though once this um, individual has that sense of the change of perception, once the hangman figures, is out, figures out what to do, I do feel as though, Gemini, this person is going to be coming towards you or you towards them. I do feel like it's going to be in some sort of a sweet gesture. I feel like... It's going to be straight to the point because I feel like Gemini, we have um, the Knight of Swords here, which is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups here, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. So I feel like they're going to come in in a way where it's going to be quick, but it's also going to be very innocent and loving. So it may just be like, hey, like, I kind of just want to know how you feel about it. You know, not just like, well, how do you feel about me? Because I think I like feel some sort of way towards you. I mean, it could be that way, but it's like this person feels so strongly and they have such, um, such innocent love towards you that they just don't know how to express it right now. They want to so, so very badly, but they're in contemplation mode. They are trying to figure out the right words to say, how to say it, and they're really trying to gain their strength and willpower to even come towards you, Gemini. So, nonetheless, I do feel as though this could be a new energy. This could be a past energy. This could even be an energy that you are just friends with as well. Maybe you feel a romantic connection to somebody and you've been waiting to express yourself or they've been waiting to express themselves. But it's like somebody wants to really have an accomplishment here. So with the world here, this is an ending of a, a very long cycle, but this is an ending that's bringing a very big accomplishment, a feeling of content, a feeling of wholeness. So I feel like with the world here, this is that person's energy of feeling accomplished with even letting it out. So whether it is reciprocated well or not, it's still going to be accomplishment to get it off of their chest towards you, Gemini, or you off your chest to them. It's going to feel accomplished somehow. So because it's going to feel accomplished because of how long somebody has been holding this in. So Gemini, you may be dealing with somebody that's been 
having feelings for you for quite some time and they have just had no idea on how to come towards you. And this could be somebody that you don't even expect to have feelings for you either. But someone's about to make some romantic gesture towards you. And I feel like with the double hanged man here, they may be stuck for a, a little a moment here. So it may be closer to mid-July than um, the first half of July. Because I'm really seeing them just like, they're like overthinking, they're stuck. They're thinking of like the words to say to you. They want to make sure they don't say the wrong thing. You know, like say you two are just friends or say you are in a partnership and you don't want to say the wrong thing to scare your person away. Very interesting. Okay. Spirit, can you please clarify this here for my Geminis in love for the first half of July? Spirit for my Geminis in love for the first half of July. For my Geminis in love. Thank you, Spirit. Also, for others of you, if you're in a talking stage right now with somebody, a dating stage, one of you, or I, it could be both of you as well, like, you guys want to come towards each other and, like, level this up. So, clarifying the Five of Cups here, we have the Eight of Cups. Clarifying the Four of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups. Clarifying this Hanged Man energy, we have the Five of Pentacles. Clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. Clarifying the Six of Cups, we have Justice. And clarifying the world, we have the lovers. There you are, Gemini energy. Okay, Gemini. So, wow. This is showing me that something happened within this, either this partnership with this person or just your love life in general, where you feel as though you are not being emotionally fulfilled. It's like every single person that you're dealing with Gemini or cross watcher for Gemini. It's like they're just leaving you high and dry or they're just kind of leaving you empty. If that makes sense. Like just like you're not getting emotionally fulfilled in the sense that you truly want. But I feel like there is a sense to walk away from disappointments and to kind of give this person or just people in your life that are coming towards you a clean slate and not expect them to be exactly the way that you want them to be. Everyone has their own love languages and everyone expresses themselves in different ways. And spirit really wants you to walk away from this disappointment whomever disappointed you. If this person disappointed you, walk away from that disappointment because there is new emotional maturity available to you through a partnership. So I feel as though with the Four of Wands here, with the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups energy, which is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy that you could be dealing with here, Gemini. But this is the need to be emotionally mature in partnerships. So Gemini... If you are feeling too emotionally dis attached from some to something or you feel as though this person is feeling too emotionally attached to you, there is a need to really start loving each other in the way where both of you are feeling the love and just not one of you is getting all of the love. And I feel as though there was a moment here where one of you was getting more love than the other person was. And I feel like possibly... If that was you, Gemini, you could have pulled back your energy and was just like, you know what? No, like I want to get the love that I deserve. I don't want to keep giving all this love to this person and they're giving me absolutely nothing back. So there's like a sense of a like a renewal to your emotional body, Gemini, that I feel like is going to bring you a lot of happiness and less disappointment with this person. So we have the hangman here to the five of pentacles. So for some of you Geminis, you have either left this person out and that's why they are trying to contemplate on how to go come towards you. Or Gemini, you um, could have left this person out and you are try trying to contemplate how to come towards them. 
for others of you, this person could have left you out, Gemini, and they are stuck on how to make their way back towards you. Because this is changing their perspective on abandoning, abandoning you, Gemini. So it's like they're changing their mind on abandoning you for either another person or maybe they abandoned you for to hang out with friends or maybe they were just not ready for an actual relationship. It's, I'm getting the vibe where like it may have been like you guys were in a talking stage and nobody wanted to express themselves because if you did express yourself, it may cause someone to leave so if you're in a talking stage and one of you is like hey I think I, I'm really starting to like you like I want to be together it's like someone's scared of expressing because they think the other person's gonna leave and I feel like that is not the case here because it's like someone's having a, a changed mindset on leaving someone out so I do feel as though for some of you Geminis, this person could have left you out a long time ago or just recently and you were forced to walk away because of your disappointed expectations of this person. You became emotionally mature. You are going to becoming a lot of more emotionally mature and I feel as though someone's having a ch someone's changing their mind here. I do feel like someone's changing their mind and they're like I need to go pack towards my Gemini. Because this is what we have here. The Ten of Wands to the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Wands is putting down that burden of controlling your energy. Putting down the burden of not reaching out. Because the Nine of Wands would be blocking someone out. The Ten of Wands would be putting down the burden of blocking something out. And Gemini, they're going to come towards you. I did feel that. Closer to mid-July, someone is coming towards you fast they want to express how they feel they want to tell you really how they truly truly feel in their heart towards you Gemini or vice versa you are wanting to express yourself towards somebody else but nonetheless feelings are about to come out and there is a conversation that's going to be happening here because we do have the Six of Cups to Justice. So Gemini, we have Libra Energy here with the Justice card. I do feel as though there, there's going to be a return of someone's energy here. They're going to come around and they may come a little bit sweetly. Like I said, someone's trying to express their love towards you. Someone's trying to express their emotions. So it's kind of like somebody was wronged here in the past and it's giving me the sense that someone's energy is going to be coming into your life that is going to give you a karmic reward. So it could be this person's energy coming back into your life, expressing how they truly feel for you, and you karmically feel righted from that because they have done you wrong in the past. For others of you, I feel as though you could have a new soulmate energy coming in here that maybe they have been pulling back their energy from even expressing that they even look at you in a romantic way. And you are going to feel karmically justified by having this person express themselves to you because you, I feel like Gemini, there is a sense where there was some sort of pain here. There was some sort of hurt and there was a moment that somebody had to stop and really figure out what's happening and what's going on and what they're letting slide in their life and what they should be kind of controlling themselves from. So it's kind of like Gemini, somebody disappointed you here. You kind of went stuck or they went stuck on you and now they can't stop thinking about you. They're 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 like wanting to talk to you. They want to come towards you. They want to karmically give you that reward that they feel like you deserve because there may have been a very big imbalance here. But Gemini, we also have the world to the lovers. Once again, we have Gemini um, energy here. I said that before when this card came out. But once again, we have the return of an energy here with the lovers, which we also have here with the Six of Cups. With the Justice card, it's like the return of good karma here. So somebody is, somebody deserves good karma here. Whomever has been extremely disappointed or 
along the lines where it's like whomever is going to be expressing themselves is the one that feels that the other person should be rewarded. So Gemini, man, someone's coming towards you. And man, they are stuck on how to come towards you right now. But when they do come towards you, it's going to be a big accomplishment. It's going to be the end of a very big cycle of not expressing your love. Of not expressing how you truly feel for this person or how they truly feel towards you. Um, there is This is giving me very big soulmate vibes. Possible twin flame because we have the lovers here. We have the four of wands. We also have the six of cups. So, you know, this could have been a twin flame journey where your twin flame just decided to be like, well, I'm just going to start running. You just, you became disappointed and now they're, you know, having that moment, like, let me change my perspective. Now I decide I want to come back towards Gemini and I changed my mind. Someone's changing their mind here and they're going to make a romantic gesture towards you here, Gemini. And for some of you, I feel like you are going to be feeling very accomplished by getting this romantic gesture. For others of you, I feel like you may just like that this person gave you that possible expression because someone's been holding back. So I feel like Gemini, nonetheless, it's going to be appreciated here, but for some of you, you may have been hurt by this person one too many times and you're like, you know what? Thank you, but no thank you. I know my worth, and I know I'm worthy of more. But for others of you, Geminis, this is a soulmate energy coming into your life that has come after a lot of disappointment. And I feel like for some of you, you may know this person, and you just don't know that they think about you in a romantic way. So, Gemini, this can go a multiple different ways to... The point of a partnership being together, leveling up, saying I love you. You know, when you're in that talking stage, leveling up, saying I want to be with you. But somebody wants to express how they feel towards you, Gemini. And they've been stuck for quite some time. But their energy's coming out now and they're about to become unstuck. So Gemini, get ready to hear from somebody you're having something in your throat chakra happening within the next couple weeks of july so gemini if you would like to book a private reading with me you can definitely send me an email my email is in the description box below and if you would like you could also add me on instagram and send me a direct message through there and if you want you can leave me a comment on this video i love to hear your feedback and gemini thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon bye